Um, hello, my name is Tonga Sendama, and I will be reading three spoken word poetry pieces. Um, the first one is loosely titled Roots, and it's a poem about and for my mum. When my auntie visits, she braids my hair for the first time in over a decade. Two sections held between her fingers, a thread of navy string woven through. In the darkened reflection of my phone facing the mirror, we are infinite. Generations of aunties braiding a generation of little girl's hair. A lineage that uncoils and recoils in front of my eyes. In the next room, my mother boils the kettle sets the table, fans out the biscuits, and no one says a word. From the corner of my eye, I watch my mother open the blinds, turn down the music, tidy the fruit basket. No one taught me how to swim. No one taught me how to swallow a half-finished accent. My mother taught me how to break the sugar cane between my back teeth, to run to the bathroom when the cream would burn my scalp. No one taught me how to hold these words in my mouth how to hold the guests in both hands, how to stagger the cooking times, close the right doors, spray the right air fresheners, but I know how to say hello, a clumsy attempt at a welcome. I know the word for water, but only on paper. I know what to call the small fish, how to roll the inshima between my fingers, how to teach it to hold the okra. I tell myself one day I will cook like my mother does, I am my mother's daughter minus her good grace, the second tongue. I am my mother's daughter in my black tea, two sugars. I say I am, but only by blood. I am her daughter as she carries me by the teeth to the school gates, day after day, bends to tie my shoelaces. In the nurse's office, homesickness is the only thing an ice pack and a glass of water cannot fix. I tell my mother I am homesick. She says, how can you be sick for a place you do not remember? When I was smaller, she asked me to cut the vegetables to go with the inshima. I cut them the way I knew them to feel in my mouth. The soundtrack of my childhood is a pot rattling on the stove, a kettle that screams until we acknowledge it. My mother and my aunties talk over cups of tea and I know enough to know when I am being talked about. And the language barrier clots my blood. But what is blood if not a border? What is diaspora if not a hyphen? What is an ocean if not a hyphen? What am I if not a hyphen between my mother and my father? Between my mother and my auntie? Between Africa and anywhere else? I am halfway continent, halfway country, full time. I know the word for water, but only on paper. I know what a drought can do to a tongue, how it dries up and turns to dust. I know where to find cassava and guavas and oxtail and knickknacks. I know how to find pieces of home even here. And isn't that something? Um, the next piece is about body pain. And it was written when I had to go to multiple gigs in one night, which took quite a toll on me. Um, and I ended up ditching the gigs and writing a poem instead and going to the beach. Um, it's called Hips. Love my body kindly, please. It is all I have left, I fear. Though there are anvils where my ankles should be and pins and needles holding me together, it is a good body. It does as good bodies do and it tries its best. Again, it crawls from one venue to the next dregs itself murky seawater, dubs itself shipwreck, tries to make its aching worth listening to. My body walks me here to there, A to B, and through the pain, something like the beginnings of a poem wash up in my mouth. I do my best to embrace my hips in all their high tide muscle strain, and the poem walks me to the next venue, and my hips walk me on their last legs, until we hit the sea and we sit, and we sit, until someone finds us waiting in all this ache and we say it's been a long day. And it has always been too long a day, 23 hours too many. In each twitch of our restless fingers, we sit and count the seconds it takes for the sun to smear itself across the sky. The tide threatens to drown us all the while. The ocean spits bones like seeds at the sand and through the growing pains, we sit. 
A dog runs past with a color green as fortune, and we think, imagine that. That we could be that free, that that moment could be waiting for us is absurd, but what if it was us, running arms wide open into something beautiful waiting to hold us? Imagine that. So we run, breaking the waves like wishbones, floating and wondering what becomes of us without this constant. How many mountains can we climb in the absence of agony? Imagine all this strength without this salt water worship, these angel wings in the form of buoyancy. So we cast a prayer into the ocean, mourning it the second it leaves our mouths. I wish I was anything but this ache. Make me again. Hey maker, make me again. Make me here, iridescent and salt crystal, high tide and buried chest. Make me sinking into the horizon, dissolving summer afternoon, chorus and bridge break and floodgate outpour. I want to wait in all that you let me be. Let me be the summit story the one that draws the crowds to witness its glory, I want to become again. But if I am to become again, make me seabed, seasick sway to rest. Tonight, I am on my knees by the side of a half-empty bathtub. The only prayer this body knows is the one that echoes an apology. And my body does as good bodies do and remembers all I try to forget, does as it does and holds as it should, all it can, its best and its worst. Dear body, I did not come to this ocean to write our eulogy. I came here to ask your forgiveness. Body, forgive me. You are so easy to love, you know. You are a good body, it's true. You have always been the one to carry me back to myself. You have always done as good bodies should do and waited for me, lights on and arms wide open. Body, forgive me for all the things we could not become in our time together. Hey, maker, make me again. Ocean in a paper cup, teardrop in the crook of an ear. Make me here. Make me here. Um, and my last one is for my dad. And it's quite... I mean, they're all long, but it's sweet. And it's called Baby Girl, and it's about how much I love him. Astronomers say that they have heard the sound of a black hole singing, and what it is singing has been sung for more than two billion years. The universe has a song for us. In 200 billion more years from now, our tongues will dissolve beyond dust, beyond comprehension in our throats. The new language of the world will be a song hummed in a quiet living room. There will be a word that holds 10,000 dances in one. Dad. In 200 billion years, this world will be dust, and I will still be your baby girl. The world we know will swallow itself whole, collapse into its own chest, and I will still hold your hand, slick with distance in mine. I will feign sleep for 10,000 lifetimes until you carry me from the car, pray over my silhouette one last time. Tender is the golden sky that breaks on our floor. Tender my hummingbird heart in this quiet, light years away from yours. Golden years between us and we're still dancing. This newfound language of swaying back and forth and side to side. In a dim living room folded with indigo, I dance with my feet on yours. Blessed is the psalm that throttles the uvula in exhaustion. Blessed the song sung from your shoulders. The first song sung into my skin. Blessed these twin feet on yours. Cricket lined with stitches of glory. Dad, blessed is our last dance aftermath against my eyelids. And I've watched you grow too. Further and silver and further and wiser, I've watched you become a speck on the horizon. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Distance is the thing that ages it beyond its time. And how dare the past not say there? How selfish for my heart to try and outshine the moon, claim this new language as my own knowing the universe has a song for us. Everything good in this world will fall at your feet and ask you for a dance. In 250 billion years, my blood would be your blood 10 billion times over. This world will be dust, and I will still be your baby girl. Blessed the echo of warmth in this house turned hallowed ground. Blessed the sepia of our skin in the leftover sunlight. Blessed my palm cocooned in yours. Blessed is all that holds us together. Bless the quietness of it all. Thank you. Thanks for listening. <laughs>